Dear students, welcome and thank you for tuning in. We are continuing our discussion about prototyping, which is part of the product design development course. We talked in the previous video about CAD models and analysis as a prototyping technology. In this video, we're going to talk about another technology, which is the rapid prototyping methods, quote unquote 3D printing. This is a new technology and it started in the mid 80s. The first uh, commercial freeform fabrication system was called stereolithography. And then a lot of other technologies came and was developed all of them actually 3D printing. It's We call it rapid prototyping because it is based on additive rather than subtractive processes. If you want to see what other types of traditional prototyping methods were, you can mention CNC machine, you can do machining, which is you know, cutting and you know bending, uh, so and subtracting parts to create what you, whatever you want to create. Also, you can uh, talk about rubber molding and the old kind of molds. This is different actually, and it is extremely, you know, uh, rapid as uh, compared to the other uh, traditional uh, prototyping technologies. So, in order to uh, give, um, you know, a clear definition about what is actually uh, rapid prototyping, so we are. It's based on constructing an object one cross section layer at a time uh, by deposit uh, depositing actually a material uh, or using a laser energy to selectively, selectively solidify a liquid or uh, a powder. And, uh, you know, we are usually, uh, basically, uh, most of the parts made in th using 3D printing or additive technology were made actually of plastic. But nowadays you can see uh, products and parts made of wax, paper, ceramics, and, and metals. So all these technologies are based actually on a CAD model uh, so you have the, you build your CAD model first, which is a computer aided design model, and then you um, utilize these technologies. So you have uh, the SLA, which is uh, stereolithography, and the SLS, selective laser centering, and the, 3D, the traditional three D printing and uh, the laminated object uh, manufacturing. Uh, we're not going to discuss those and explain them in details in this video, but you can refer to them and you can check uh, online and we might be able to talk about them in um, later videos on other um, instances and uh, opportunities. So just to put things in perspective, uh, those are some images about uh, 3D printing. This is called fuse deposition modeling. You have something called carbon, you know, we can do create uh, 3D models of carbon fibers and you can create models from uh, or parts from metals. This is called laser uh, metal uh, centering. So 3D printing is, is very important actually and it's get, gaining a lot, a lot and more and more uh, interest and um, keep in mind that it, they can be created um, in the earlier stage in your product design development and also they are less expensive and uh, so time uh, and this fast. So time and uh, you know cost is actually a, a, a very important uh, aspect when you design and uh, produce and develop uh, products. So this is actually comes in handy for all the any engineer or any um, technician who is interested in product design development. Uh, one more thing to mention, you remember our example that was, was mentioned in the book, uh, which is the backbot, which is the robot that can go to dangerous places and do multiple tasks with its arm. So it was actually, they had their prototype uh, made um, using uh, stereolithography in four days and they were able to communicate their ideas completely, the whole, um, um, you know, product, the whole you know, system, it's a comprehensive system, and they were able to communicate it and show it to their, you know, upper management, and they will show it to their clients, and to, uh, you know, a large group of people who were involved, which are, we call them the stakeholders. So I hope that uh, 3D printing and additive technology is something that you would want to uh, utilize for your projects. I know we might not do this at the start in this semester, but however, uh, remember, we start all the time with the CAD. So CAD modeling and analysis is a very ex it is extremely important uh, step in our uh, product design development um, process. Thank you for watching. Until the next video. Bye.